Hi, uh, Peter again from Records. Um, on this short video, I'm going to take you through setting up the uh, fence on your bandsaw. I have um, a BS350 here. It is quite a few years old. Um, so there may be a few bits and pieces that are slightly different, but in general, it's going to be the same as the BS350S that we're doing now. And also the fence system are similar on the BS300 and also the BS400. So with this same fitting device I'm going to show you is going to be applicable to those as well. In a follow-on video, I've got myself um, the new uh, upgrade kit. Uh, the same with what we're fitting on our Sabre bandsaws. So I'll be putting that onto here in another video. So first off, I've got the table on. The table's been set and it's locked up at the moment and it's square off the table to the blade. And that's been done by the stop nut that's located underneath and we'll show you that um, at another time as well. So basically it, there's a bolt there and you just adjust it up or down till you square off your blade. Quite an easy process to do um, but an important one and um, make sure you do it um, as you're building the machine up um, square it off as I say. Four bolts underneath don't have them locked up solid yet on the trunnion because um, we've got some other bits and pieces we can um, show you as well. So first up as I say square that up. Next, your bar that comes with it, it's got two studs in there. Make sure those are locked firmly into the shaft. What you don't want to be doing is making adjustments and then taking it backwards and forwards and you start screwing it in and out of there. So nip those up first, put your nuts on the shaft, Leave a little bit of thread shown behind. Don't go straight up to the shoulder. That way, if you go up to the shoulder, you haven't got nowhere to go. So leave yourself a few threads showing. These should be the same. So if you set it to, say, um, the same measurements, this is about 24. About the same. Put your washers on. Then introduce your fence. Before you put the fence on, this is all well packed. This is an old fence, it's a bit battered and bruised. Um, like I say, the machine's quite a few years old. Occasionally, I just clean the bottom off underneath. I've got a sm very smooth fold, and just if there's any high points on there, it's well packaged when it's sent out from us, but it's worth checking. And also, if there's no sharp edges on there, if they are, say so a smooth fold, just give them a little trim off just get rid of those high points on there so it just make it move over the table nice and smoothly if you've got one of these like scratch pads just give it a rub with that as well, it won't hurt it at all something smooth though, don't use anything rough this is aluminium so it's well easy to clean up then introduce that those two parts together Place it through the two holes. If you apply a little bit of pressure on there, you're keeping that square to the table, keeping that in situ. So what I don't want is that too high or too low, otherwise it's not going to sit very comfortably on there. Pinch that up. And the same on that one. So what I can do then, just apply a little bit of pressure and then with a 13mm spanner, just pinch that up to start with and then across to this side, do exactly the same, bit of pressure on there and that way it should stop it kicking up one way or the other. If you've got the fence sticking up like that then it's too low, if it sticks up the other way this is too high. So what you want to do is just get basically move across there nice and smoothly. And then we can look at now refining it and doing the settings. 
I've already done the tracking, the machine's run, I haven't introduced the guides, but I've got a half inch blade on here. The wider the blade, the better to do in the settings. The machine normally comes with something like a 3 8 blade, something like that. If you're buying a range of blades, it may be um, get the pre pack or uh, individual large blade. Ideally, a 5 8 blade or something like that, maybe a 3 or 4 TPI. And that just gives you a wider access for your rule you're going to put across here and say uh, a 3 or a 4 TPI you've got a nice deep gullet on there so you can get the rule between the teeth and that's important because the teeth are offset you've got your um, tough to the left, tough to the right and a parallel tough that's your cutting curve, that's the width of your cut and that's where it's offset so as when it goes through you get that cut through so you're trying to find out uh, or trying to set up off a parallel one ideally in between the gullet and it's the easiest way. A little bit more to say, this is a little bit finer, so a little bit more um, care has got to be taken on the setup. So basically we've got it fitted onto there. So that's moving across there nice and smoothly. That's what I want. No gap there, no gap there, no gap there, no gap there. So it's basically putting that on there, pinching it, putting it across there, pinching it again. Now we come into uh, the refinements. What I'm looking for is to set the fence parallel to my T-slot. That way I'm going to be working off the T-slots anyway, so I want them parallel to my blade. So I want the fence parallel to those as well. So everything then is going to be just straight lines going through nice and square, not going one way or the other way. So the fence itself, I say I want it to be in line with that T-slot. At the moment I've got a small gap there so the fence has got to go around that way. So I've just got to ease that side out a little bit and bring it round. So what I need to do is to back that off First you can just do it with your fingers. I've brought that parallel there and I'm just looking to bring that across now. Still keeping a little bit of weight on here. If anything, you could do with a slight negative on this side. Just a slight, if you put your nail across there, you can just feel the edge of the T-slot. And here it's lost, so it's all parallel all the way through. And all that's doing really is, it's telling you that the fence is on a slight negative from the, the, the saw blade, but fractional, very, very, very small amount. You know in your own mind then where it is. What you don't want it is on the, on the, the other way. You'll never get square cut off it at all. So gently pinch that one up, move it across, and pinch that one up. Now that might need doing a few times until you get it right. But bear in mind, put the pressure on there, pinch that up, follow it across, pinch that up. So I've leveled the studs and I've got my action across there. And I'm just looking to say to be parallel off that T-slot with a very, very slight negative on that side. Now, now what we can do, that all just seems very easy, and I'm afraid I have been doing it for a very long time. So forgive me for that, make it seem it's easy, it's not that easy, just it needs a little bit of time, a little bit of practice. So take your lock off, pinch your fence up, we've already got the table locked up, and what I'm going to do now, is undo the four screws, just back those off, pinch that up as I say, take that up, a bit more off on my lock, and do the other two. 
are a little bit more of a fiddle in here just because it's a bit more confined space, that's all. Right, the reasoning for that is now I want to square the table up to my fence. Because that's been squared up. So what I need to do is put a rule across there, or a straight edge, a small straight edge, something you know is flat. Um, plastic rule, but put a light underneath it, just to make sure it is sitting on the surface. This one's a bit of a hollow that way. Something like that. You can put that up against there then, bring the fence across and set it up. Also, what a lot of people don't take into consideration is the table insert. Now, the table insert should be equally spaced around the, the, um, the blade. What you don't want is it one way or the other, so as the blade then is going to rub on the insert. So as you can position this table to suit, if you've got a little mallet, You can tap it one way or the other. Just say I've got those bolts slackened off. So we can do this now. So a little rule. And try and find a parallel tough. So you've got one to the left, one to the right, and then you follow in with a parallel tough. And if you can get somewhere in there and get the closest you can to that, lining up off the blade. Bring this across, now you're going to have an error one way or the other. So what I'm showing initially is I've got a gap here. So the table wants to come round a touch. So you can tap it round with the mallet and keeping that in mind, the blade's got to be central to the slot in the table insert. You don't want it one way or the other. So that I wanted to come round a little bit. And while I'm doing this, it's unplugged. If I get distracted, called away, when I come back, machine's unplugged, it's a little reminder I'm doing something to the machine. You're not like you could go and do something quickly and then it's all a little bit wrong. And it's also a good safety tip. Always unplug your machines before you make any adjustments. Just a bit more. Okay, I'm in the ballpark now. So first of all, I just pinched these two up. Gently at first. Don't do them too tight. I only did it, I didn't do them fully up at the front, just so as I didn't drag the table. Sometimes when you lock them up really solid, what you can do is drag the table across. So I'll pinch those up. Down onto the stop. When you're doing this, to get a mean average of it, because basically 
this is a band going around two wheels so check it in a couple of places so it's easier sometimes with a wider blade it just makes it because you've got a bigger bearing area for your rule or whatever you're going to put across there okay so what I can do now is I can finish the rest of the setting ups on the machine and then I can do a cut on there well, that's your basics of setting up so it's a starting point to get a nice straight cut because on your bandsaw you can do a medium, you can do a range of uh, cuts of bandsaws a very versatile machine as you all know um, but sometimes you want a real straight accurate cut your wavy cuts and if you're doing bowl blanks and stuff like that doesn't matter it's just getting then the blade, best blade selection to do the application that you're doing but on a, on a bandsaw, we, like I say, you can do nice big straight cuts, you can break some timber down. Obviously I've got like roller stands, I use those occasionally, so it gives me a little bit of extra support if I'm doing something on my own. As long as I can manage it, you don't to be doing over the top and doing big, really big items on your own without adequate support and maybe a little bit of assistance as well at times. Straight cuts, nice white blade, 3 or 4 TPI. That you can do some nice rips on there. 4 TPI, again you can do some nice rips on there, but also you can do some nice veneers. What I will do as well, um, I'll finish off the rest of the settings on the machine, and I'll do some cuts on the machine with a selection of the blades, and give you an idea the usage of them, and also the finish you can get off the actual blades as well, since a, a bandsaw can be quite an accurate machine. It's just down to the settings. We supply the machine, as you know, it's in a box, it, it needs to be put together and it needs to be finished off for you. The more time you spend finishing it off, the better the end results are going to be for yourself and then make it a lot easier for doing other projects. So what I should do now, I can say I'll finish setting this up and I'll do a few cuts, we'll add that onto the video and then um, I'm going to fit the new um, upgrade kit. Um, just to see what it's like and you can see the features uh, that it gives you over over this one uh, this is a good fence, a really solid fence, nice fence rail in my opinion easy, nice and set up um, you can smooth it, you can get repeatability off, the, off it as well and this is a nice fence to take off as well quite easily so um, the 300 and the 350 um, basically that's the same 400 slightly deeper fence a bit heavier all around but the settings again are the same so hope that proves a little bit useful for you um, anything you need um, help with any suggestions drop us a line on there drop us a note on there and we'll try and get back to you as soon as possible so it's all about the interaction we're trying to help you as much as you can and we need a little bit back off you guys as well if you've got any queries um, and we can try and assist you as best as we can alright so I'll catch you soon um, say on the next one it could be a cut and also the next fence as well so see you soon